Hit like and subscribe below to get more product. The Blink smartwatch has been designed and built from scratch by a startup in India, and they've built their own custom operating system called Marvin OS. So we got our hands too on the Blink watch, and you can do so too by going to blink.watch or checking out the links in the description below. The packaging for Blink is hands down super premium. The design is unique and the materials used are fit to hold a luxury smartwatch. It slides out and opens like a book and right there beside the watch it says about time. Very impressive. We'll get to the watch in a short while, let's see what else we've got in the box. A booklet with the instructions to use and set up the watch with your phone. Now this is cool. And this is something nobody else does out there. They pack in an extra silicone strap to switch whenever you want to go for a run. So you get a leather and a silicone strap in the same box. Apart from this, there's a fast charge USB cable and a standard magnetic charging dock that's very easy to use. Now to the watch itself. Blink looks beautiful and much closer to a luxury watch than any smartwatch out there. It has a unique fluidic case design with a curved top glass. And most importantly, it's perfect size and lightweight make it very comfortable to wear. The leather is soft, feels premium and does not bite on the skin. All in all, they have done very good in this department. The first thing you see are the watch faces which are very classy and modern but the collection is a little limited. Changing them however is super simple using the touch bezel, a new touch interface they have built but more on that later. The watch face is also the place from which you can access information on the go. For instance, edge swiping from the left pulls up fitness, where you can see your daily fitness stats of steps, calories and active hours. We did take the Blink watch out on a run and it did fare well. And all the data is synced to your phone for you to check out your performance over a period of time. The Blink watch however does not have a heart rate sensor, but its 9 axis motion sensor makes it capable enough for tracking your daily fitness. Next up are notifications that you can check out by swiping down from the top. The Blink watch can identify and build conversations from your notifications and you can even reply to them from your wrist using emojis, voice or quick replies. Replying right from your wrist is super convenient but this feature is only available in Android at this time. In addition, you can filter out apps from sending notifications to your wrist using the Blink app on phone. Moving on, you can check out your battery level and get access to a lot of quick settings by swiping up. The watch lacks an ambient light sensor but you can easily change brightness right from here. Now for the important bit. Pressing the home button takes us to the app space, a place where all the apps can be accessed using what Blink calls the touch bezel. I must say that once we were used to it, it was actually very efficient in navigating throughout the Blink watch. Checking out the watch apps themselves, Blink has a full-fledged music player. You can store songs directly on the watch, pair with a Bluetooth headset and get a truly wireless experience. The onboard speakers are also very clear. Let's try playing a song. The music controls are fairly intuitive and reminded us of the good old days of the iPod. Moving on to other apps, I've always found navigation to be a perfect use case for smartwatches. Blink has an inbuilt app for turn-by-turn -turn directions from Google. You can select the travel mode as driving, walking or cycling and input the destination by using Marvin Voice, which is surprisingly very accurate. Let's give it a try. ITC Cardinia. This brings me to the coolest feature of the Blink Watch, Marvin the Voice Assistant, which can help you directly use voice commands to do a lot of things. For example, you can double tap on the watch face to say, book me an Uber to ITC Gardenia. It correctly recognizes what you said and helps open the Uber watch app to book a cab. While the accuracy of Marvin is great, the functionality is limited, but the team says future updates will have much better voice support across Marvin OS. With that, we are at the end of the unboxing and review of the Blink smartwatch. Let's look at the pros and cons of this. In pros, we have that the watch is beautiful. It's by far the most beautiful smartwatch we have seen. The hardware is a beast with 1 GHz processor and 8 GB memory and 1 GB RAM. This is the top of the line. The build quality is great and Marvin OS with its new interface, especially the voice control, look really promising. On the other hand, the watch does not have a heart rate sensor and the built-in apps are good but it will still take Marvin OS some time to get a lot of third-party apps on its platform. With that, we are at the end of this unboxing and review. Hope you had a great Hit like and subscribe below to get more product reviews.